Hello and welcome to this training on creating automated certificates using Google Tools. Certificates are a great way of validating the learning that has taken place at the end of a course and we're going to be looking at how we can use Google Quizzes, Google Docs, Google Sheets to create those certificates that will automatically be sent to the recipient and then they can celebrate their success. So just to explain my scenario, I've created a microsite training course on some Google tools. So for example, I've got my Google Calendar uh, training course here, where I've got a set of slides that I want people to work through and do some scenarios. And then at the end, there's a quiz. So if I click on the quiz button, and then I've got an embedded Google form. So I want people to take the quiz, and if they get everything right, then they'll get a certificate to show they've passed this segment of the training. So the first thing just to think about is how you're going to set this up. And this can be quite important. I'm doing this on a shared drive in Google Drive. And so I've created three folders. I've got my certificate templates. And these are files you're going to create in Google Docs. I'll show you one of those in a moment. I've got a folder for my merged files. So ultimately what we're doing is a mail merge. And so I want a folder where all those files are going to go. And then I've got my quizzes. So my quiz I've created in Google Forms. So hopefully you're aware of how to create quizzes. If you're not, I do have a training video on how to do that. So the first thing we're thinking about with this quiz is the information we need to create the certificate. So on this, I've got the name and the date. They're kind of two key fields. I also need the email address so I know where it's gonna be sent to. You might wanna create some other fields depending upon what information you want in the certificate. I've then got my quiz, so a normal Google uh, quiz, and it's out of 10 points. So this is a self-marking quiz. So I've got my quiz ready to go. And then the other thing I've got is my certificate. So I've completed this in Google Docs. So again, just some text. But the key thing you see here are these fields. So I've got name and I've got date. And this means that the certificate document is gonna draw these names um, out of the response sheet from my Google Form. So if I go over to my responses in my Google Form, and I'm going to create my response sheet, my destination sheet. And then the columns that I've got at the top and the names here are really important. So as you say, I've got name and today's date. So what I've done is I've copied that and put it into my Google Doc and with the two chevrons either side. And again, how you put this in is really important. You've got to make sure you've got the chevrons, you've got to get the name exactly correct and no extra spaces or anything like that. Otherwise it won't pull through the information. So as you can see there at the bottom, I've got date. So that's not what my header is there. So I need to change this. So I'm just going to copy that, select my field here, paste that in. And so now that is ready to go. So back in my sheet, I need to add an add-on. Um, I've already got this installed, it's called Autocrat. And if you haven't got it, go to Get Add-ons and do a search for Autocrat and then install that. So I'm gonna launch this now. And so Autocrat is what will do the mail merge in your Google Sheet. So at the moment, I don't have any merged jobs, so I'm gonna create a new job. Okay, so now I need to put a name for my job. So I'm just gonna call this one Google Drive Certificate. Click next, and then I need to choose my template. So I've already set this up in Google Drive. So I'm gonna click from Drive, and then find the Google Doc that I want to create the certificate from. So here we go, and click Select, then click Next. This is where it connects the tags that are in my Google Sheet with the tags that are in my Google Doc. So hopefully they should match already. So you can see its name here, and I've got a list of options, so it's name. So I can correct it if it's not correct and it's not linking them, but hopefully if I've inputted the names correctly, then it will do. So I click Next, and then I'm thinking about the file name. So this is the name of the file that I want people to receive. So I might say Google Certificate. And then also I could put in, for example, the name again. So again, I could put the tag in, double chevron, 
name and then double chevron to close. Then I'm thinking about what type of file I want them to receive and I just want them to receive a PDF. I click next. Now I'm choosing where I want the certificates to be saved once they're created. So I don't want them in my templates folder, so I'm going to delete that. Yes, I'm going to remove that and choose a different folder. And it's the merged files folder. So when I'm doing this, I always forget this one. You actually just click on the folder and then click select. So click next. We don't need this option, so click next again. And then I'm setting a merge condition. So you don't always need this, depending on what type of mail merge you're doing. But for my merge condition, I'm saying I want them to get the certificate when they've got every question right. So I'm going to add a condition. So I'm saying I want the column score. So we pick out whatever's in this column here, the score column. And if it equals, and I've got to put in the score that they'll receive. So again, the format here is really important. And so if I'm doing a score from a Google form, it is the number, then a space, then the slash, then another space, then the number. So 10 out of 10 means that if the score equals 10 out of 10, they'll receive the certificate. So then I'm done with there. I can click next. So then do I want to share docs and send emails? I do. So I'm going to click yes here. So it's going to share it as a PDF. Do I want them to reshare? That's really up to you if you want them to do so. They might want to forward a certificate on somebody else. So I'm ticking yes. Do I want it from a generic address or my own? For my purposes, I'm gonna click, I want a generic address. And it just says no reply at your domain. So then I'm gonna put my tags in here. So who is this being sent to? So here I'm gonna put my chevrons again, and I'm gonna pick email address. So copy and paste this. It's always best to make sure there's no typos and things like that. So then I'm going to put in my subject and message. Now I'm just going to create this from another one I've previously done. So I'm going to change that to Google Drive. And then my little message that I'm going to put in here. Again, remember you can use tags here. So I've got congratulations, put the name of the person in. Make sure I've got the right information. And you know, you could put a link or anything you want. This is the email they receive when they've completed their quiz. So again, click next. And then we think about triggers. So the question is, when does this mail merge run? So this says run on form trigger, which means whenever the form is updated, it will run. So if someone takes the quiz and they get the correct score, it will run and then you'll get that. So this is what I'm gonna want. Um, it might depend on how many entries you're gonna get because equally you might want the date and time option. And so if you're doing this, you can say it runs every day, every hour. So you can choose the options and the parameters there. So then I'm going to click Save. And we're going to see how this works. It's always worth doing a little trial run first um, to make sure you've got everything right before you then send that out to others. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head on over to my quiz and I'm going to take my quiz and then we'll see the result. Okay, so I view my score. I got 10 out of 10, which is great, since I created the quiz. And so now I'm gonna head on over to my email and to see what I've got. So already, by the time I got to my email, the email is already there. And you can see I've got my certificate, Google Drive. If I open up my email, congratulations, so it's pulled in the tags. So I'm gonna check that. And then it's got my attachment, which is a PDF. So if I click on the attachment, again, it's pulled in my name. It's pulled in the correct date. And so this is my certificate that I can then uh, add to my Google Drive or whatever I might want to do. If you do come across any issues that you need to change, then go back into your Google Sheet, click on Add-ons, Autocrat, launch this, and then it will bring up your mail merge option here in one moment. And then you can click on the Edit button here, Edit Job, and you can go through those options again, just double checking where that uh, issue might be and just problem solving that so that then your certificate automation works. So I really hope this has been a helpful tutorial in showing you how to create automated certificates using Google Forms, Google Docs and Google Sheets.